another video um in today's video we will be styling okay i went to target and i racked up guys so they had a 30 percent off sale and it's a four day sale tomorrow is the last day um i did get this outfit so this will be our very first outfit that we'll be styling in the next couple of clips but in this particular clip i just want you all to know that um i do these styling videos and i'm starting to do these styling videos for several reasons one reason being um inspiration not only inspiration to people my age but people my size people my color um people that's actually younger than me as well so that you all can see that it's okay to look good i mean like it's it's nothing wrong with that never make and never allow anyone to make you feel like it's not okay to look good so um that's one thing and then of course styling inspo just in case you guys run into a brick wall don't know how to style certain things i'm here to help you okay um <clears throat> but in all honesty um the number one reason why i do these videos is inspiration to myself so about 15 years ago i was involved in a domestic relationship i literally moved to atlanta moved with this guy me and my children and um it was just a very bad situation not only was he physically abusive he was mentally abusive it was draining and so what ended up happening is story time y'all and I'm gonna try not to cry um, in the process of telling you all this here because at this point I'm over it, but it is a scar that will always live with me, okay? And not just a scar, it's a uh, just it's, it's a scar, it's a um, motivation. It helps me to always remember who I am and to stay true to who I am so that I'm never put in that situation again mentally physically emotionally spiritually I mean like literally this man was breaking me so um I moved to Atlanta to live with this guy me and my kids and he did use my children as a um control mechanism and a way to manipulate me okay so I came to visit Chicago because that's where I'm from. Um, I came to visit Chicago and while I was here, my mom, she, she just, I mean, like, she knew, let's say this, when your mother tell you something about somebody, listen, because they no okay so she kept telling me about this guy even before i moved like she begged me not to move and i was like you know this is a good move chicago really wasn't providing me with anything and you know i'm thinking like this would be a new environment and everything like that but again it was him manipulating me trying to divide me and cause a wedge in between me and my family okay so we come visit Chicago um, just for Thanksgiving. So while I was here, my mom, she told me, and like literally she was in tears. And she told me that she had a dream that um, she got a phone call and it was some detectives or something on the phone telling her that they found my remains buried behind my house in the backyard. So we had like this, we lived in this townhouse community and in the backyard, if you guys don't know, like, we lived in a um, suburban part of Georgia. So back there, it's like a lot of woods, like you can get lost back there. And so she told me that um, she had a dream that she had, a, that she received a phone call from a detective saying that they found my remains um, buried behind the house. And so I was like, oh, mom, you're just being dramatic, this, that, that, and the other. But again, I was hurting on the inside and I refused to let my mom see that part of me okay i had to take a break okay so i literally did not want my mom to see that part of me right so i would smile through it and i would nod my head and smile and play and joke and just keep telling everybody i'm fine i'm fine but there was definitely a significant difference in the amount of weight that i weighed before i went to atlanta when i came back i mean i was like so stressed i probably lost huh, any women and I wasn't that big to begin with to be honest with you so literally I dropped several sizes but um I think I probably lost about 20 to 30 pounds right um so 
when she told me that I said listen I'm gonna go back to Atlanta I'm gonna let the kids stay here I'm gonna go back to Atlanta so I can pack up all of my things and everything so she begged me begged me no 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 needless to say um at impromptu busy was at the door it was him let saying that it's time to go it was time to go it was time to go I trip ended well, he was trying to end our trip about two days early. And I was like, no, I don't want to leave. What's going on? It's that, that, and the other. So, um, he said, we'll talk about it later on. And I don't want to get into what took place. But, um, I got off the phone and I was crying. And my mom asked me what was wrong. So, once I told her, she told me, she begged me. She was like, don't go back. Please don't go back. I don't know what's going on. But please just don't go back. Those are things. Those can be replaced, Right. So I kept saying, no, I have to get all of our things, my kids' birth certificates out there, their social security, like all of our important documents out there. Um, we don't have any clothes. Literally, we came to Chicago. We had four outfits, four or five outfits. I packed a small bag. So literally, we had one pair of shoes a piece between me and two, chi two children and um, four outfits, if I'm not mistaken, maybe four or five outfits. Um, and so my mom, she was... I mean, like, she was completely hysterical. Um, needless to say, I end up staying with my four outfits and their lies why I fell in love with fashion. Fashion helped me get through. It helped me rebuild. It helped me to get my brand, my name, my confidence, everything. It helped me to rebuild who I was. So, when you're looking at these styling videos, just know that it is coming from a different place. All right, so now that that rant is over, um, if you are interested in fashion, beauty, life, travel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So, And make sure you hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video. Now, let's get into this video. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with some loungewear. As you all can see, I paired this with a pair of mules, uh, red ones on top of that, just to give the outfit a bit of color. It's just adding a little something to it. And as you all can see, it says beauty in every shade. I like that. And the material was extremely soft like this outfit is very much so comfortable it's given exactly what it should be given and it's saying what it should be saying okay to our next outfit uh we're keeping things on the cute and casual side of things so i end up purchasing a jumper uh it's a one piece jumper i think the color is maybe like a olive green or a sage or something like that and as you all can see it has the white legs at the bottom is cute paired with uh i would probably only do this with a pair of boots i don't know about maybe a pair of heel boots or something like that as you can see it's very spacious in the tummy area and with it being spacious in the tummy area it actually give you a little bit more room so if you want you can actually size down on this one um but i am 5'3 i weigh 165 and i got this in a size 10. Now, sis, if you're really trying to get jazzy, go and pair that up with your favorite belt. I did choose a belt in a tan khaki color, I think. Not tan. Um, and it's a Jessica Simpson belt. It has a little logo on the front of it. And as you guys can see with the sleeves, I'm showing you that you can either have those sleeves rolled up or you can go ahead and pull those sleeves down. So that's giving this outfit an entirely different look. And then the bonus is this thing got pockets, okay? An outfit with pockets gonna get me every time, I promise. It got pockets, I'm buying it. Moving right along 
on to outfit number three we have faux leather pants and the feel on them feels very good they actually had a lining on the inside that was uh very pleasant to the skin i didn't have any issues with them however I did not like the way these pants fit. Um, I paired them with a pair of tan shoes and a green sweater. I purchased these pants last year and I didn't like them. I actually returned them to the store. I didn't like the fit for the price. So I'm like, okay, well now since they're on sale, let me try this again. But I'm still not feeling them. I'm just, I'm just the bagginess in the middle of them, all right in the pocket area. I'm not a big fan of it, um, but it do have elastic. So if you are looking for something that has like an elastic waistband, that very well, these pants may, may very well be something that you may be interested in, but it's a no for me. I'm definitely taking these. These pants I definitely give an 80s pop lock, coolie high return back to normal let's get into something that's a little bit more back to my style so i am styling a monochrome look monochrome can be the same color in any uh color range variation so as you can see i have a dark gray top paired with a light gray pair of bottoms Another way that you can style a button-up shirt is by simply tucking half of it in. That's going to give your outfit a little bit of balance, a little contrast. Another way to style a button-up shirt is to unbutton maybe the last three buttons at the bottom of the shirt. Of course, you're going to purchase that shirt oversized a little bit. And then you just tie it in a knot, a front knot, and there you have it. Another way to style a long sleeve button-up cotton shirt and then of course an outfit wouldn't be an outfit without a splash of color so we're going to go ahead and throw in a splash of red and as you all can see that definitely elevated that look to a entirely different um level and to level up your outfits all you have to do is add a couple of as accessories you all can see i paired this outfit with a necklace that was gifted to me by my husband um it's a handmade piece of jewelry and that definitely elevated this outfit so if you all are interested the shirt is um a size large and I normally would wear a size medium in my tops. And the jeans are a size 10. And I normally wear a size anywhere between a size 8 and a size 10 in jeans. And we're just going to keep the monochrome train moving. We're going to go into our next monochrome look. We have a pair of dress slacks with... What am I doing? Okay, sis. Did, did you almost fall? get it together okay <laughs> it's the lean for me all right so we're gonna go right into our next look and it is a pair of green slacks and this is good for an uh, office look and I paired that with a lighter green knitted sweater as you all can see the sleeves uh, I'm gonna show you the sleeves maybe I'm gonna show you the sleeves but okay the sleeves it's a nice cut on the sleeves uh they're a nice cut on the pants as well as you all can see because clearly I want you all to see my tush okay um, was I doing that for me whatever there go them sleeves y'all okay so uh we paired this with an oversized top <laughs> And in this clip, I'm going to show you how you can actually style it with a belt if you like. So you just basically wrap the belt around you. There's no loops, of course. So what you want to do is just adjust your sweater on the inside of your belt just to hide it a little bit. And that is going to elevate this outfit and make it look like um, definitely another outfit. So then that way we get a repeat wear out of our clothing. Or should I say pieces, okay? And just know this is a try on so the label or the sticker that you see on my pants leg that is the sticker from the clothes I didn't want to remove any stickers or any price tags from the clothes just in case I decide to take anything back um, the belt was not purchased from Target I did purchase that from Windsor if I'm not mistaken either Windsor or Express um, but I'll definitely if it's still available leave that in the description box and all of the other items that I have been wearing that's outside of the 
the Target items in the description box as well. And moving on to our next look. Um, I'm not a fan of this one at all. I may end up keeping the top because I have been looking for a white um, button-up shirt. But those pants, mm-mm. I'm -mm, going back to the store. I'm just not a big fan of the balloon look. I thought that maybe they were some looking plan in this outfit. I am my mother's child. I look like my mama in this here um, clip. Look at it. Girl, you better work, sis. Okay, so um, I am my mother's child. I just really did not care for the pleats in the pants. Anytime I have to keep adjusting an outfit, it definitely goes back to the store. Because at this age, I'm looking for comfy and cute. And it's not giving either one of those. Not comfy, not cute. Um, so I'm just going to lean up against the wall like that. And I tell my kids to stay off the walls. Okay. Yeah, so this one is going back to the store. The pants at, for the most part. And then it's almost giving like a spring look because I have to keep adjusting and pull them down. I did try to pair them with um, a pair of mules with some fur in them, which I did purchase those from Target as well. But yeah, I'm just, I'm not a fan. Bye. So this one was just for fun. I thought maybe pairing it with a hat would probably give it a little bit more oomph. But only thing it gave was um, rhinestone cowboy. Yeah, I don't. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is. Yeah, mm -mm. it gotta go back. It's you going back, it, sis? I don't care. Mm -mm. Don't keep explaining it. You going back? But you cute though. All right, now moving on to the next look. Um, I decided to throw a little skirt in here and give a little teeny tiny skirt action. So, um, again, with the whole top and bottom thing, if I do something ruffled, fitted, anything like that at the bottom, I definitely try to pair it with something chunky at the top. And this lean, sis. Uh, okay. Um, but you, okay, okay. Okay, you're going to stay there. There we go. There we go. So, I paired it with a ruffle skirt. And as you guys can see, I'm very much so giving um, Chili the vibes right here. What's that movie that Gabrielle Union played in? Um, setting on... I can't remember where she was a little, but then I decided that I wanted to do a little chill, a little dance, just to see how much I can move around in this skirt, make sure my booty cheeks wasn't coming out. And then y'all remember that chill, U-G-L-Y. I was never a big fan of that, so I don't, I don't even, I don't even know how to do it. Okay, but this skirt is definitely giving. I did pick, pick it up in a size large. Uh, someone must be texting me, and I, I gotta see who that is. Okay, um, I picked it up in a size large. My sweater is a size medium, and you all see that it's giving almost like not a cow neck, but just an oversized kind of turtleneck type of look. Um, I'm thinking that I may end up taking this one back. You guys let me know in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this outfit. I'm almost feeling it, but it's also giving a little bit more on the juvenile side of things for me. Almost like a um, uniform skirt kind of situation. So, we gonna see about this, but yeah, I'm definitely considering possibly keeping this outfit. It's not that bad looking, I guess. So then I tried to, um, not try it, I actually put a blazer on just to kind of give it a few more layers to see what I felt about that. And that blazer is definitely given. So the blazer, I purchased that from, I can't remember, but it is an Armani Exchange um, blazer. And anytime I put this on, it definitely gives me the, um, who gonna check you boo um, feeling, okay? So yeah i think i'm gonna take this outfit i think i'm gonna take that skirt and that sweater back i am and we are at our last and final outfit um i thought that i was done styling all of my outfits and saw this little piece laying on the bed so i was like let me go ahead and just try this one on it didn't look like much on the rack but then once i put it on and found out it had pockets <laughs> oh i'm keeping this yeah i'm keeping it yeah i'm keeping it I'm definitely keeping this one um i like it it's very very cute it's roomy and then that whole little sash thing in the middle of the dress definitely pulls in that waist some so i like that and it feels good the balloon um 
sleeves and the balloon shoulders is giving the outfit some balance i like it so i'm gonna keep this one um this one won't be going back to the store i'm gonna show you all what i paired it with didn't like it it was given i i i i'll show y'all so tell me this not giving jackson five can you stay in the rain yeah there you go there go that dance that's the can you stay in the rain dance all the 80s looks um i actually got that blazer from h&m and it's a blazer dress um so i'm going to style that totally different and it's looking at you okay so i'm gonna go ahead and style this particular jacket blazer dress different and it paired mm, pretty okay with it that's kind of cute i did definitely like that i may just wear it as a overcoat or maybe just like a little jacket to pair with that dress or any other dress to be honest with you but i'm keeping the dress definitely i did enjoy the dress the feeling on it and everything so outside of the kicks and giggles that i got out of it um for the most part and then do you guys hate it when you purchase a jacket or something like that and the pockets don't work like what's the point of having them if they don't work okay y'all leave something in the description box and, and, and let me know how you all feel about that because i definitely hated it so this is gonna bring our video to an end so thanks again for watching i appreciate you all support i appreciate you continuously coming back to my channel for uh more content and again don't forget to like and subscribe guys um so that we can get that algorithm going and let youtube know that y'all that y'all feeling me okay y'all feeling me right okay. all right so thanks again i'll be back to see you guys on wednesday wednesday i'm thinking that my birthday is actually coming up and um i may end up doing either one or two things um for wednesday the idea that i'm coming up with either to do a makeup look because i did purchase some new foundation during the sephora um sale and that was the valentino and i do want to try that on camera for you all because that is what i'm wearing and it's giving y'all i mean like it's giving and um or i may end up doing um a video on undergarments undergarments that you can wear so that your frame is a little bit more flattering and also a little bit more slimy so in the description box guys let me know what it is that you guys which one of those between which one of those videos which one you want to see all right thanks again bye guys <laughs>